What's good everybody and welcome back to another styling tutorial in the era of the bob. I am your main girl Mel. I'm a professional hairstylist and I'm going to be switching things up today as we try to style my recently self-cut dry cut curly bob and see it in a blowout for the very first time. We'll actually be seeing my DIY color for the first time as well. So this should be interesting. Slightly scary, but we're gonna be fine because you are super nice to me. But for a sneak peek, this is how we're gonna look today. So this is officially my updated tutorial on how I'll be blow drying my hair smooth, which isn't often, but as we know, tis the season. This is an annual video I do at this point. Fall, winter is the best time weather-wise to do this, and this is how we're gonna be achieving the look. Now, if you know me, I am a Dyson girly, but not exactly an air wrap girly. Now, let me explain. Me and my Dyson Supersonic, we go way back. We're like this, largely in part because of the phenomenal revolutionary diffuser attachment. An attachment that the Dyson air wrap has been lacking until today. <laughs> Guys, this is huge. This is about to change the game, but we're actually not gonna be using her today. We're going to be using another attachment that Dyson also just launched as per the world's many, many requests. See, it makes a difference when we join forces and harass politely. You gotta love when a company takes feedback. And that, this, the original round volumizing brush just got a big daddy version. Dyson, give yourselves a pat on the back. Look at that size difference. I'm actually gonna be using both of these attachments, so different size round brushes to achieve today's look. Also for my friends that will be using a traditional hair dryer over a multi-styler, I'll also give you some tips on how to use your round brush as is. Showing you some new techniques that are going to be very helpful, especially if you have short to medium length hair to achieve that big, bouncy, fluffy 90s blowout that everyone just loves. So without further ado, let's get to it. Warning, you will see me use a variety of products today because I I don't like to take any chances with my hair. I will be doing all of the possible things to make sure it stays healthy. I'm not saying you have to do all these things, but if you wanna take a few of my recommendations, I will put them all in the description box below. You'll find a variety of products in different price ranges because I know some of these things can get very pricey. But as a professional hairstylist and YouTuber of many years, I have tried and reviewed many different types of products. And so I'll list all of my favorites below because you're not gonna see all of them in this video. You're also not gonna see me in the shower. Can I have a shower to myself, please? BRB, I will come right back after shampooing. And she's clean. To catch you up to speed, I did two shampoos with a moisturizing cleanser. I used the Aveda Nutriplenish Deep Moisture Shampoo. Did that twice, but on the second shampoo, I added in a little bit of the Olaplex 4P. Olaplex 4P is their purple shampoo, so not only did I get some Olaplex benefits, but I wanted to do a little bit of toning, and this is especially if you have color-treated hair, and if you're going to be using high heat. High heat can actually fade your color visibly, and so if you're worried about it fading, do a little bit of toning right before you actually go in and style your hair. Now, as for the reason why I skipped conditioner, it's so I could go in with K18. When I used this to do my blowout last year, or was it the year before? I don't know. It completely changed my blowout game. My hair had literally never looked so healthy and shiny. So I love using this. It's gonna make sure my hair looks nice. Not just looks nice, but actually is healthy. This bee is not cheap, but she is worth every penny. And if you know how it works, well, you know that we've gotta wait four minutes for it to activate before we can go in with any other stylers, which we will because this is not a heat protectant. So in the meantime, let's talk about all the things that are new. As I've mentioned, Dyson has just launched two new attachments for the Dyson Airwrap, making it even better and more usable for people with curly hair. And you can actually get this in a specialized version specifically for curly and coily hair. It's called the Dyson Airwrap Multi-Styler Complete Long Diffuse, and that's a mouthful. And it's specifically gonna come with the attachments that we will need. Exhibit A, the diffuser, of course, to simulate natural drying by dispersing air evenly around the curls without creating frizz. And the diffuser is actually slightly different from the one that comes with the supersonic hairdryer. Of course, ergonomically, they redesigned the shape of it so we could easily diffuse without contorting ourselves. 
But if we look up closely in the bowl, the air wrap diffuser actually has these longer prongs around the outside ring of the diffuser, which is gonna help to give your curls even more places to rest as they sit and set. It also works as a scalp massager. That's just me though, I just, a great way to dry the roots, might I add. Let me know if you want a full side-by-side -side comparison of these. But anyways, back to the attachments. The curly version also comes with the large round brush, the wide tooth comb attachment. This came out a little while ago, but I just got mine in. So it'll be my first time trying the wide tooth comb. I love the wide tooth comb attachments on my Supersonic. We also get the firm smoothing brush. This is like a paddle brush. The bristles are firm. The bristles also flex depending on which way you are styling your hair. And for increased control, Dyson utilizes the Kawanda effect, which is gonna help to smooth and shape your hair, attracting the strands to the shape of the brush. I'm excited to see how this attachment compares to using the wide tooth comb because this doesn't use the Kawanda effect. I predict that the firm smoothing brush will definitely do a better job at the smoothing. But finally, you get the 30 millimeter air wrap long barrel in case you feel like adding curl back into the hair. And of course, this is the attachment that Dyson revolutionized and changed the game, making it so much better by making this just one attachment that you can switch the airflow depending on the direction you want the curl to go. But last but not least, to complete the smoothing, there is the Kawanda smoothing dryer, which can be used, of course, in two ways, as a rough dry styler, which I don't do that around here, and I don't really recommend it unless you want frizz. When you have curly hair, rough drying, not the move, but we can finish our hair with this to smooth and hide flyaways. And now that it's been four minutes, we're gonna apply my heat protectant. And this is new to me. I just started using the Living Proof Triple Bond Complex because I wanted to kind of compare it to K18. This is like Living Proof's version of like a K18 molecular repair hair mask. Of course, they're not the same. I mean, K18 technology is patented. It's also not like Olaplex because Olaplex technology is patented, but they have their own patent pending technology. It's been tested to clinically improve the structure and strength of the hair. And what I like about it is that it actually adds heat protection up to 450 degrees, no less. So I'm gonna pair it with my K18, but if you had to choose one and K18 wasn't in the budget as much, like this is a great alternative. The reason why we whip it in our hands first is because you can really see where you're applying it. And if neither of these fit the budget, this is a little bit cheaper and it's the OG when it comes to bond building technology. I really love the number nine. This is gonna give you the heat protection up to 450 degrees as well as antioxidants to protect your hair and your color. So pick your protection. And now we're actually gonna work backwards a little bit. You can see how my hair is kind of already drying. That's no bueno. I won't get my best results this way. So I'm going to re-add some water. And then because my hair is super fine and always always puffy when I straighten it. I actually need products to weigh my hair down. So I'm gonna take it one step further. I've got my strengthener, my heat protectant, but now I need a styler, something that's gonna really help smooth my frizz and lock out that humidity. And no, I will not be using the Color Wow Dream Coat. Personally, in my experience, it's just not moisturizing enough for me. I need something a little bit heavier and we're gonna try something brand new. This Moroccan oil PR caught me on a good day. So they just sent over, cute packaging, a frizz shield spray. It's a really heavy box for no reason. So this is for frizz prone hair, weightless heat activated argan oil infused spray, which imparts a defense shield that envelopes strands to combat humidity for long lasting frizz. Now it's giving Color Wow Dream Coat, but I'm hoping that it is actually gonna be more moisturizing. Moroccan oil uses argan oil and everything, which is very moisturizing. My hair tends to like it. So fingers crossed for me, I'm gonna spray this in my hair section by section. Cause that's another thing that's really important. It's making sure that every strand gets a little love. My voice is going, I don't know why. I do know why actually, if I just recall last night, I digress. So it looks like water. It looks very, <laughs> smells like Moroccan oil. Oh, Amanda, you're gonna love me tomorrow when you smell my hair. Finally, let's get blow drying. Also for my friends that will be using a traditional hair dryer over a multi-styler, I'll also give you some tips on how to use your round brush as is, not on soaking wet hair. That's actually my first tip. While we wanna start on wet hair with curly hair, you do not start round brushing on your soaking wet hair. This is gonna put a little too much tension on your more fragile wet hair. Also, it's gonna take forever. 
So that's when you would go in with a paddle brush. I'm taking the firm smoothing brush attachment. I'm gonna go in with high heat and high speed without fear of damage. If my hair gets damaged at this point, after everything I've put in it, after the Dyson Intelligent Heat Control measuring the temperature over 40 times a second to make sure it doesn't exceed the heat or create extreme heat damage, nothing can save me. So you wanna get it to about 80% dry. You still want a little bit of moisture in the hair when you finally switch over to your attachment. Now I'm actually gonna set the big barrel aside for now. And this is a short hair tip. For the bottom sections of my hair, especially cause I want this style to be really nice and perky, it's gonna create more of a curl. I'm first starting by blowing underneath and then I'm going from over top and flipping the ends out and up. And I'm specifically doing that for this first back section. For maximum smoothing, it's always a good idea to hit your section from all angles. Underneath, the top, even make sure you smooth the sides with the brush. Just finish your last section in the direction you want the hair to go. It's perfect. Come on, that's giving everything I wanted to. She's moving on up. Now I did want to give this wide tooth comb a little spin. It definitely puts a lot less tension on the hair, which means you won't get as much smoothing, but it's still a great pre-styler, especially if you're going to go in and flat iron afterwards. It's a very fast and easy to use tool. And it's also secure on the tool. Now I'm going to go back in with the round brush, but I did say I'll show you with an actual round brush. So I'm popping on the Kawanda smoothing dryer and I'm going to turn this nozzle to find the airflow. Now it's like a regular blow dryer. When you're using a blow dryer, just make sure you're always angling the airflow down with the cuticle. This might require you to adjust how you're holding the dryer. For example, when you're scooping the hair from underneath, I've got the blow dryer on top angling down. And then when I'm picking up the section from the top of my hair, to create that upwards flick, I move the dryer so the airflow is blowing upwards. Always with the cuticle, never against the grain. It's gonna prevent frizz, as well as cuticle damage. Obsessed. No, no, I'm obsessed. And who can even tell that my hair was cut itself? Cut by myself. It's been over six weeks. I'm almost due for a trim. Stay tuned. And I digress. My next section, we're gonna let down another row. We're working horizontally around the head. So I'm going to take some of the hair from above my ear now. And what's really important when doing a blowout and when using round brushes is the size of your section should not be bigger than the round brush. You're going to have too much hair than the brush can handle. So look at the diameter of your brush and match your section size to that. That's why it's so amazing and we're all so happy that Dyson has now come out with this bigger round brush because that means you can take bigger sections and less time styling. Can you imagine if I were able to take this big of a section? We will next, but for this section we are taking one more row with the smaller round brush. Again, we're going in with the smaller barrel for the bottom sections so that they really curl up, but I don't want it to be too curly on top. Once again, pre-styling the section with the firm smoothing brush. And now I'm taking the round brush attachment. This is the smaller one. This is the one that actually came with my Dyson originally. I didn't get a whole new air wrap with the complete long diffuse. I already had it. And if you did too, then you can get these new attachments separately. No, you don't have to buy a whole new air wrap. That would, that would be excessively. This root volume exactly what I want. Now, in case you haven't guessed, for this section, we're gonna be curling the hair in the opposite direction. While on the bottom, we flipped up and out. For this section, we're gonna flip down, under, and in. Now, here's a tension tip and also a tip so you don't get the round brush stuck in your hair. I want you to smooth the brush through your hair until you reach just past the mid shaft towards your ends. Then you're gonna start twisting and twirling the brush in your hand and that's what's really going to help to smooth out your strands you're going to feel a little tug but you shouldn't get stuck if you do get stuck it's because you started too far up on your head and maybe because you have too big of a section so start rotating the brush when you're hitting the ends and then when you see me pause here i'm actually hitting the cold shot just so i can seal in the curl that i'm creating with the round brush the cool shot is truly your best friend if you have hair that falls quickly now one of the coolest parts about the air wrap multi styler is it truly is a one-handed device. But of course, if you have two hands, it's nice to use both of them for a little extra control. So you'll notice I'm holding the end of the round brush for grip and this little knob is heat resistant. So don't worry, you're not gonna burn yourself by touching it. 
Moving right along. Now that I have reached the top half of my head, pay attention because this is the reason. What was the reason? This is the reason. I shouldn't have taken the clip out yet. This is the reason I am now going to switch to the bigger round brush. I'm using a larger barrel round brush on the top sections of my head because that is where I have shorter layers. And I don't particularly want a full curl. I'm more looking for that body wave, that voluptuous look. So finally, let's give her a whirl. And again, I can take bigger sections now because a bigger brush. I'm gonna start at the back and work my way to the front. And do as I say, not as I do. I'm skipping a step now and just gonna go in straight with the round brush instead of using the firm smoothing brush at first because my hair isn't soaking wet anymore, but it stayed relatively smooth because of how I had it in the clip. So anyways, at this point, I'm just going straight in with this. So watch closely how I do the sectioning on the top now. I'm taking vertical sections from the ceiling to the floor. And when using the round brush, I'm brushing everything forward towards my face. By over directing the root like this, it's gonna give me a ton of volume on the top section. And then again, for maximum smoothing, I'm hitting the section from every direction. I'm turning the brush towards my ends for extra tension. And then I'm setting that all in place with the cool shot before I release. That is just giving Farrah Fawcett. Ugh, the brush size is literally perfect. And my color, pretty good. There, It's kind of 17 different colors. There's a lot of dimension, but I'm not mad at it. I also should not be touching my hair just yet. I should let it fully set, but time to finish on the other side. And then here's a little life hack for you. If you love that like swooshed look in front of your face, you can use a headband or sunglasses to put the hair back. You can bump it front and then bump it forward. And right in here is where the hair will kind of fold and create this crimp around the arms of the sunglasses. And it keeps that really swept back, but like swooshed forward, stunning look. And I mean, if you hate hair in your face, it's a double whammy. So you could like let this sit in your hair while you finish your makeup or perhaps apply some finishing touches. I'm gonna add a little bit of a hair oil I've been playing around with the Virtue Healing Oil. Again, this is an oil, but it also has strengthening benefits to it. And I love multi-purpose products. And so this bad boy, which you have to shake before using, has a little bit of this alpha carotene in it, which is Virtue's proprietary protein. See, every brand's got their little thing. This has a protein that is biomimetic, meaning it mimics the actual protein that's in our hair. Kind of similar, but again, not claiming it's the same in a different way than K18. And this bottle has a lot more for significantly less than the K18. So the hair oil, I mean, is she a dupe? She just maybe. I'm gonna smooth this through my ends. I'm not even kidding though. My hair feels immaculate. I love the smell. If you've been following me for a long time, my texture has changed over the years. So my hair has gotten a lot softer but I also treat it better and better. And so it looks better and better every time I straighten it. It never used to look this good with just a blowout, but I don't know. I think that has to do a little bit with the products that I use, a lot of it with the Dysons that I use. It really takes a village. But all together now, I'm gonna take these off, fluff this up. And for some extra hold, I could go in with hairspray, but I don't want it to be too sticky. I'm actually just gonna go in with the Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray, one of my most used products, whether it be curly or straight. I just, I just sprayed my face. And just for some of those flyaways, I'm gonna take the Kawanda Smoothing Dryer, rotate, and I'm gonna cool off the heat entirely. I'm putting it on the coolest temperature because heat can reshape the hair and I don't wanna lose all this volume I have. I just want to smooth some of these baby flyaways. It's giving polished. Would I be wrong to say that this is relatively easy? Let me know what you think if you'll be trying this out and of course, if you found it helpful. 
If that is the case, please give this video a huge thumbs up and a round of applause for our annual hair straightening video. We have now completed my quota for the year and we will return back to our regular scheduled curly hair and healthy hair content next week. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions regarding anything here. And if you're looking to reduce your dependency on heat, there really is no better time than to investigate the power of air control. Dyson just knows what they're doing and they really have come through for us this time. Like this is, I think this is officially my favorite tool now because this is really all I've been looking for. And now that we have it, my heart is complete. I feel so happy. I don't even know how they're gonna top this. Honestly, Dyson's probably got other crazy things happening, but until then, this is, I mean, this is the stuff that excites me. I'm gonna put all the links to where you can find these, especially the official tools and not knockoffs in the description box below. So go check them out. Dyson, as a member of your beauty squad, I thank you for working with me and bringing me the things that I needed, that we needed. Until next time, peace.